Hey, beautiful people. I hope that each and every one of you are having a blessed day. You know what I say? You find a child with a certain style, and I guarantee you she get it or he gets it from one of their parents or both. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came You beautiful people I hope that each and every one of you Are having a blessed day You know I do I truly do Well, I'm out here at my YouTube She Shed My YouTube She Shed, y'all Okay? And it is story time But first I just want to say If you see A child even if they're adult, when they go into adult, if you see a child, an adult, that has some habits or a certain style, it's guaranteed to have come from their parent or both. Like hats. That's me with hats. My daddy loved hats. Remember the untouchables? You know those hats like Martin Luther King used to wear? Things like that back in the days in the 60s and stuff? Yes. My daddy loved hats and he loved his suits. But he loved his suits because he loved them for church. Alright? But story time. Okay? I have a story time. Listen up. But while I do the story time, I want to give you, show you my collection of bucket hats all right but listen to the story okay did you hear about the man who discovered that his child was not his married man come on let's talk about it <laughs> this bucket hat also has a purse Now, the following story that I'm about to tell you is from Kevin, um, the Truth Factory. It's a long title, uh, <clears throat> scratch that part. The story that I'm about to share with you, I heard on Kevin Truth Factory's channel, okay? And just to give you a little background about Kevin, um, actually, you all go over there and check out his channel. A uh, very uh, spiritual. Excuse me. He can break. He really can break things down. Uh, he does reaction channels and stuff like that. So I discovered his channel uh, because he is in a poly polygamous marriage, and um, that's how I first discovered his channel. But anyway, so like I said. <clears throat> Don't judge. Judge not yet. You be judged. Okay? So, um, that's what I say. <laughs> okay. So, here goes. There was this man. Married. He's been married for his wife for quite some time. While married to his wife, they have four children. Follow me now. Because I want people to understand how they mess up this DNA. Stop messing with the DNA, the ancestry DNA. Stop messing up the family tree, okay? So, here goes. He's married to his wife for many years, so they um, have four children. His daughter has to do a science project on ancestry DNA. 
So as his daughter did the science project in school on ancestry DNA, she came back to her father saddened and told her father that he was not her father and the reason why. The results was that he was not the father because what he did was he went and did a DNA test with her. He told her, don't tell the mom about it, you know, just keep this between the two of us. So, that's what they did. So, remind, mind you, they have four children together, okay? So, So, with the four children together, he decided, <clears throat> excuse me, he decided to himself, he says, well, you know what, I'm going to go and do a test with the second child, not his. The third child, not his. The fourth child, he got to the fourth child, he said he don't even want to do it anymore. He's expressed how he loves his children and they're still his children regardless. But none of them are his children, you see. And this man is going to spend his lifetime taking care of children that's not his. He's going to spend his money and I'm sure that when he leaves this earth that he wants to leave them with something. So he's going to leave. He's going to leave them with something. When they do their uh, history, is going to go down with them, not knowing who their parent, who their dad is. Okay. Now Kevin, whose channel I watch, he broke it down. You know, even more so. He also brought brought in Christianity and things like that in it. Shows you how it relates and talked about uh, demons and uh, seers and um, suppers and you all excuse my um, my twang or whatever but you know what I'm saying succubus you know some people that are in relationships where they have a succubus or they have someone a demon you know um, they're dealing with a demon but uh, what I was going to say is, so he said he was, you know, he was pretty much distraught because he didn't want to do the fourth child with a young, young uh, uh, baby <clears throat> or young, very young, the way he described it. So, as I said, he was saying, oh, these are still my children. So, so after the father, the mother, so after he has done all these tests and discovered that he knows that none of the children belongs to him, not a single one belongs to him because he went and he did the test himself. So after all of that and confronting all of the evidence and then confronting his wife, he said he, uh, she decided to take, let me, uh, you know you have to be very careful with your words on YouTube and I'm going to try to put it as um, as close as what he said he said um, after she was after the evidence was she was confronted with the evidence she decided to take a um, ride on the chandelier She decided to take a ride on the chandelier. So, this gentleman is left with four children that does not belong to him. And Kevin is telling him, is telling him, is saying, you know, uh, Kevin is saying on his reaction video to the to the situation, the best advice he can give is he should find his he should find the fathers of those children once he has found the father of those children he should leave and start his own family 
because now <clears throat> what you have is someone who has lied and deceived him. And this man was actually st sitting there questioning himself. What did I do wrong? You know, a person with no intent, with no, with uh, bad intentions, they will deflect, they will, they will uh, make you feel as though it's your fault. <coughs> Excuse me. And to top it off, but what I like for you to do is go and check out. Uh, I'm going to put it when I edit uh, the name of the content creator who does reaction videos and really, really breaks things down to you. But what this man is doing now, as I said earlier in the video, this man is now if those children have his last name, he is now in a situation to where, and even if they don't have his last name, but he's he's taking all his time, his energy, his finances, everything, all of the burden to raise someone else's children who does not belong to him. And my opinion about this it's very very hard i know it's very very hard when you um go into a ready-made family and there are small children or there's a small child and you you know you grow you you, you raise that child you go to love that child and you go to love that child and so forth but um you have to understand that this is only my opinion you have to understand that um, one of the things that you're messing up is the genealogy when you go and look in your history when you know what if the child is becomes ill they need to know that ever so his wife has been unfaithful to him the whole time and he's paying the price, the children are paying the price because more than likely the children will probably have forgiven her, you know. But sometimes people cannot... Um, Stand, withstand the pressures of life meaning or the things that they have done that have has harmed or hurt people and that's why it's so important to get to know the person really get to know the person not just financial wise what's your bank account you know, what you got in the bank, what you're driving, what, you know, you wearing designer clothes. Not that. Get to know a person. Get to know and see when you meet someone, see how they treat others. Not just you. See how they treat others. Really check out their character. Because I know some some of the men that I know, if they were in this situation, it could not it would not have ended pretty. And for some of the people, I mean, just generally speaking, some of the men out there, I know it wouldn't have ended uh, very pretty. So you know, y'all be careful out there. I hope you all enjoyed. I said enjoyed <laughs> my bucket hat. I saved this one for last because love one another. Love one another. And if you truly love someone, show them. And it does not always have to be financially. Show your support. Send a text, a phone call. It only takes a moment. You all take good care of yourselves. 
and I hope you enjoy. I hope you all go and make you some candied strawberries as well. And I want to tell you about my upcoming video. Um, it's all going and I can't even remember. But anyway, you all stay blessed. Y'all make sure. Y'all go out there and get y'all a bucket hat. And go and check out. It's Kevin Wesley, The Truth Factory. Kevin Wesley, The Truth Factory. Factory. Like, like I said, he really breaks it down. He has some very interesting videos. I love his reactions um, because it's nothing but the truth. And um, like I said, he really breaks it down very well for you. But I just wanted to tell you that little quick story time. And let me see a movie that I have for you all. Um, I can't think of one off the top of my head. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a movie recommendation in the video. Until then, I'll see you all soon. And thank you for the new, the two new subscribers that I received. It gave me the motivation. Thank you to the new subscribers. It gave me the motivation to, and I will put it in when I'm editing because I cannot remember the names. Please forgive me. Tried it to my head and not my heart, okay? Um, I want to thank you because they gave me the motivation. Those two subscribers that I uh, received gave me the motivation to continue to, um, to go full force with uh, YouTube as a content creator. And I thank you so much. Your subscription came at the right time. Alright, so you all stay safe and be blessed.